Hello and welcome. Today I've got this M18 8 ampere red lithium high output battery. It's shown 4 bars, it is going, it is working, it is charging. It's doing everything a battery should do on the face of it. I was sent this from Newry in County Down. This battery is not performing as well as it should. He's noticed that it discharges far too quickly and doesn't perform half as well as it used to. And it's quite a new battery, so he sent it to me to see what was wrong. I took a look at the top for broken connections at the start, and then when I seen none, I pulled it out of the pack and looked for broken connections at the side, because that's what you do. Again, none, so this was kind of baffling. But I put the voltmeter on and I'll show you what I was show you what I found. And this revealed all. And I'll explain why now. The first bank of cells is showing let's see you get the get the meter the right way around and none of a minus voltage there's four point one volts, which is a fully charged bank of cells. Four point one one which is a fully charged bank of cells. 3.55 that's the middle bank of cells that's shown what um that's nearly fully just charged if they were all showing 3.55 that that pack would be ready for recharging you know so it's it went from fully charged to bottom still healthy but bottom bottom working charge you know if that makes any sense um 4.17 if you go 4.1 and a bank of cells that's the full charge it's between 3.5 and 4.1 as you're operating voltage for the cells so this model bank needs to be brought up the same as the rest of them to restore balance to that pack and why it wasn't performing people don't realize how badly it affects a pack, a battery pack, if one of the cells is out, of, one of the banks of cells is out of kilter with the rest out of voltage, lower, or whatever. So what we're going to do is bring up this middle bank with a B6 LiPro charger here. So here we are. If you can see that, this is the LiPro balance charger, the B6. And we want to attach it to the middle bank of cells, plus and minus, plus and minus. So first of all, we'll attach first to the positive side. I'll see if I can pry that up to get a bit of purchase with a positive clip. And then the negative clip will have to do the same over here. It's important to get this right. You have to know your cells. There's 21700 cells, which are the bigger, bigger lithium ion cells, bigger, physically bigger, you know. These should be probably Samsung 40Ts or something like that. You'd usually get in these Milwaukee batteries. So we get a good connection there. So that's the negative. And that raised upside is the positive. Now we have to set the charger. Hold on. Set the battery type. Oops, setting the um, LiPo battery. We're selecting that. We have to select. Um, the, we'll say six amps because I don't like to waste time. We have to go to three S. Down from three S to one S. Because we're charging one bank of cells, we're going one S. Five S is the whole everything. Each bank of cells, you know, one one series, you know, whatever. One series of cells, one bank of cells. So I hit this button, then it'll start to charge and bring that up. It does take a bit of time, but it's well worth doing. I'll slowly bring that up. You see it's putting 3.78 and I'll bring that up slowly. So we'll have to leave that for some time and let it charge away. 
but after that we will have a fully balanced pack and it should be performing better for David he sent that from Newry County down so here we are we're coming close now you can see that the amping just starting to drop that means we're coming near our charging destination which is fully charging that bank of sales we're 46 minutes in um, she's currently putting 4.18 into the battery so she should get there soon we'll just keep monitoring it until it says fully charged and then we'll put it back together and we should have a good job if you want to buy one of these Laypro balance chargers these b6 amax chargers i'm going to put an amazon link in the description and pinned in the comment section um they're relatively cheap to buy and if you're working in batteries at all you do need these they're just the handiest thing to restore the balance to the pack right we're 64 minutes on and as you can see the ampage has gone into the bank of cells is dropping all the time it's it's down to 2.1 2.6 it's fluctuating around that it's fluctuating around that area and that means we're getting closer to our target destination which is up point nearly 4.12 we might be there would we yep must have reached capacity there that must be it hear the little alarm going off so we'll just switch the charger off now and just stop her and we'll do a little voltage check on that bank of cells if you remember it was the middle bank here and it was showing 3.55 so we'll do a nice little volt check here to show you what's what's actually going on here and get it on there to see Right, four point not nine, so that's near enough four point one. That'll do. That's a lot better than three point five five. We'll still have the four bars. We had them before anyway. It just shows you four bars doesn't always mean that your battery's at its optimum condition. So if your battery's not performing and it's only showing three bars, it's cell imbalance. If your battery's showing four bars, this could be what's wrong so if you like that video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos